I've created my very own club in FIFA and we've taken them from the fourth division of English football all the way to the championship. But this journey has not been easy. We've had to endure financial struggles, FA Cup heartbreaks, players leaving. But this season, the club is in a better position than ever before. We've introduced our brand new kits with Puma as a sponsor as well as Prime. With the backing of these brands, we've been able to secure some really good signings and we still have money left for more. Today, our job is to bring in potentially a new striker to reinforce this team so that we can build a squad that's ready to secure promotion to the Premier League. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the S2 GFC Creator Club career mode. Life's good, man. Look at the team we've built. We had Giorgio Chiellini decide to retire in the last episode. No problem. We replaced him with the next Chiellini in Giorgio Scalvini. And apart from that, the team is coming together real nicely. But I think we all realized in the last episode that we do need a bit more firepower. So with the remainder of the 8 million that we got, we're going to pump that in to bring in a new striker. That is a must. Good thing is we've got about a week before deadline day. So I think we should be able to wrap up that transfer before we get into all the games. And we need to do it. And who better to ask about signings than you guys? 8 mil left in the bank. Transfer suggestions. Let's see what you guys are saying. Ferran Jutgla. That's actually a solid option. Okay, let's see what Ferran Jutla is up to. Okay, guys. He's 79 rated, 90 million worth. We can't afford him. We're, we're a small club right now. Breaking news. S2GFC have submitted a bid of 16.5 million. Um, We don't have that much money, so fake news. To sign Liam Delop. Liam has accepted personal documents and is set to arrive to do medical in the next 24 hours. I don't know who your source is, but it's not true. But I'll give you this. Liam Delop is a solid option. I think he just about would fit our budget, but we're gonna have to really work hard to make this happen. But I, I like this option. Breaking news, S2G will sign Danny Alves from Prison FC for 100 mil. Here we go. Um, no, d d d don't mention his name in, in the same sentence as S2G FC. We don't do that. Dane Scarlett, a perfect signing for S2G FC. And boy, can I tell you, I like this option. Yo, this looks good. Dane Scarlett, very, very similar. Bro, these two options are, I think, what we need to work towards. But it's going to be so tricky to pull either of these signings off. If we can get a loan to buy deal to work. Oh, God, that would be just unbelievable. It's time for my first press conference since becoming a manager in the championship. And I thought it's the right time to do one before we make a big signing. You should sign for Lauren Balogun for the striker role. I'm pretty sure he's around the 70 overall mark and you could put a loan to buy on him. So if he does a Garnacho, it'll be fine. Don't remind me of the Garnacho saga. That still pisses me off. Gotta say, Balogun does seem like a really solid option. Honestly, because of his age, I would prefer Dane Scarlett. If I had to rank these three players, it would be Dane Scarlett number one, Liam Delop number two, and Balogan as the third option. It'd probably be the easiest to sign Balogan because his value is very affordable. But again, if we can get loan to buy deals on these two, we should be fine regardless. Next up, are you ever planning on getting Joe Bellingham more involved? We know that Callum Berry is the lungs of the team and he's been exceptional, but with Joe, he's young and has got lots of room to develop. All right, guys, I know that's something a lot of people get really annoyed about, that Joe Bellingham isn't getting the game time he probably deserves. The thing is, right now, Berry's better. Raul Lopez is an undisputed starter. Joe Bellingham's gonna have to be patient, but I'm telling you, with how long and draining a championship season is, trust me, Bellingham's definitely gonna be playing at least like 20 games this season, for sure, and that's gonna be enough to keep on improving and keep on growing. All right, guys, it's now time to make the next big decision of the series. I'm calling it now. The player we sign is gonna end up winning a golden boot in the future. Yup, we're gonna be signing a future golden and boot player. And straight up, I want to try and sign Dane Scarlett, but I'm thinking, would a loan to buy work? Okay, 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 guys. Hold up. Loan to buy, I think, is on the table. That's probably the best way we can afford this. We got to negotiate with Antonio Conte. Let's go. Who would have thought? S2G and Antonio Conte in the room. Okay, let's see. Loan to buy, and, and they're willing to at least agree. We'll, we'll try a one-year loan to buy deal for Dane Scarlett. Uh, they want us to pay 60% of the wages. Can we do like a 50 50 split. That'd be awesome. Yup, they're willing to go with it. Future transfer fee of 10.7 million honestly works. We'll worry about finding the money for these deals next season. I think for now we take it and let's just hope Dane Scarlett is willing to join us. Wow. Shaking hands with Antonio Conte. That might be done. Just to update you all, we've got two players whose loan to buy deals are happening. One is Oko. I'm pretty 
sure his buy option is pretty low. So in case we've got money left, I might just use the money and complete the signing permanently. And of course, we could have Dane Scarlett joining. But let's see in this next week whether he decides to join us or not. Let's go, boys. I think Dane Scarlett's in the building. He's accepted the loan move. He realizes the potential of joining S2G FC. It's enormous. Dane Scarlett, a future golden boot winner, has just joined the club. Love this signing. Gotta say, man, we're putting ourselves in a spot where next season we'll need to be able to generate a lot of money being the Premier League. Otherwise, I don't see how we're gonna get the funds to sign a player like Dane Scarlett on a permanent basis. But now, loan to buy. He's arrived. The bench just keeps getting better and better with Dane Scarlett coming in. Oh, Dane Scarlett's 86 pace. I love that. Meanwhile, when you've got players coming in, sometimes you've got players leaving. This one is Barrett, a player I don't really care about. We've got enough depth in the centre-back position, so we sold him for 260k. It is what it is. We get a bit of cash. Meanwhile, we just got our most expensive transfer offer yet from PSV for Raul Lopez. 43.6 million. That is wild. But honestly, Raul Lopez believes in our project. It's not the time to sell him. It is absolutely not the time to sell him. It is time to give Dane Scarlett his debut in the championship with us. And it's time to see what he's all about playing in a home game as well. We've been a bit iffy in the championship so far. So let's get a good result here. Berry. Found a bit of space, strikes it well off the crossbar. That is so unlucky. Yo, you guys keep criticizing Barry, and he produces moments like that. He was super unlucky there, but that was a good attempt. Dara Burns looking for that pass for Dane Scarlett, controls it well. That was superb. Oh, ho, ho, Dane Scarlett on his debut for S2 GFC. That is one way to announce yourself in a new league at a new club to your new teammates. That reverts with the perfect ball, but the way he controlled it, look at that. The chest are down, one touch inside, bang. That was sublime from Dane Scarlett. What a player, what a start. He's just so quick, so nope. quick as we almost make it 2-0. Lopez. Good ball out wide for Dara Burns. Classic goal from Dara Burns. We're playing some nice football. Dane Scarlett's adding a lot to this team with his work rate and everything. Max Holmes and David Tarley. You guys need to be careful now because we've got a new top class striker in town. The thing I'm finding with Dane Scarlett is that he's making just ridiculous runs, running around. His movement is causing a lot of trouble for everyone. Max Holmes. Looking for Barry, who's broken through. Easy. Barry is something special, man. You guys keep hating on him. And look what our captain keeps doing. He proves his doubter wrongs. That, that, that's his second goal of the championship season now. 3-0. What a performance. We managed to secure that dub. The team is flying. Dane Scarlett's added a lot. Of course, don't forget we also signed Scalvini this season. We do have money for more signings. But I think first, I want to just secure the Raul Lopez contract. I do not want him leaving the club at any point. So you know what? Let's not mess things up. Let's offer Raul Lopez the contract he deserves to stay here. He wants a crucial role. I can't believe we've had Raul Lopez playing for 650 quid a week that is outrageous the good thing is he believes in the s2g project four years contract length no release clause as well and i think we'll need to offer him like 20 grand at least i think he deserves it as well let's offer him a solid contract make him one of the highest earners in the club he's willing to accept that raul lopez continues at s2g fc fun fact i want to check who the highest earners are at the club it's Dane scarlet on that loan deal but i think we're only paying half of it oko as well same kind of deal Tyler is actually the highest paid player at the club. Dara Burns being paid 22k as well. Raul Lopez is the new 20k salary. So yeah, we've kept the salaries quite a bit in check. We're now on deadline day and I'm thinking if there's like a good free agent signing available, maybe we can act on it. The only good free agent I found was Isco, but I'm struggling to see where would he fit into our team. To be fair, he could be like an older option for the central midfield position, but I think if we sign him, that's gonna mean Joe Bellingham is gonna get a lot less game time on the other side signing a player like him we could just flip him next season and that's easy 10 to 15 million made in cash as a club i think this is a decision we need to make looking at it from the team perspective i think it will destabilize things okay let's see where can isco add depth definitely at the left mid position probably in midfield
feel too. I, I think we should do it. Oh my god, it's a tough one. It's a real tough one. But since it's a free agent signing, I don't think we need to decide this on deadline day. Let's take our time and then make the call. France window done. This is the team we're stuck with until, of course, January. But hey, no complaints. It's decent. But I hate the fact we've got a few internationals that we can't use in a lot of the championship games. Next up, we've got Bournemouth. And this is going to be tough, especially with a few far players on international duty. But let's go, guys. We get lucky and we start things off with a penalty and scoring here could be huge. Tyler's back in the team. He's got competition now. Denied. And if he does that, uh, it's not going to be good, is it? Paulinho. Oh, that's a lovely ball for Max nope. Holmes. How have we not scored that? But I think we could score now. The Brazilian Paulinho's on it. Looks for Iñaki Jimenez. What a chance it is for the youngster. Iñaki Jimenez, in the absence of Dara Burns, takes his chance. The Spaniard puts this into the lead. Oh, that's a really nice ball inside. McGinty doing McGinty type things. Oh, no. It's our turn to concede a penalty. Come on, McGinty. Make the save. Let's go, McGinty, you legend. Now we could end up conceding here. Two months space and come on. Ah, oh, fair play, Bournemouth. That was a well-worked goal. And this game ends in a one-all draw. Like Teams like Bournemouth who are closer to the top of the championship and towards qualifying for the Premier League or getting promoted, those teams really cause us problems. Okay, now the games are getting harder and harder. When up against another club looking for promotion, it's Watford. As good as Tyler's been, I think I'm putting Dane Scarlett back in the team because, bro, his debut was insane and we need a bit of that. Something about about Dane Scarlett, man. Such an intelligent footballer as he assists Max Holmes in this instance. There you go. 1-0 against Watford. If we can beat Watford, a regular Premier League club in most instances, I reckon we've got a good shot at promotion this season. Raul Lopez. Oh, ho, ho, what a ball for Scarlett. He's got a score. No, he doesn't score that. That was phenomenal from Raul Lopez. Berry. Oh, lovely ball for Max Holmes. He wants another one. Oh, that is one hell of a finish. How does he get that much power behind it with no backlift? I have no idea. That's Max Holmes for you. Dane Scarlett, there's something about his dribbling. Smart ball for Paulinho, who's going for it as well. Keeper saves. We're looking ruthless in this game. Oh, it's Raul Lopez bursting forward, looking for Scarlett. Go on. Should be another goal. Okay, that was a bit dodgy finishing. He's got to improve in those instances. Oh, Scalvini, that is aggressive as he finds Max Holmes. <laughs> Cleverly done to release Scarlett. And he gets a goal as well. We are flying. 3-0 against Watford. Kane Scarlett seems to have just reignited our attack and got them ready for the championship. Meanwhile, we've got a monthly scouting report. Remember last episode, we sent our scout to Ivory Coast to bring us some talents. Fortunately, none of these players in this batch look impressive at all like what is this our amazing form continues as we pick up a win against Huddersfield and another win against QPR where Scarlett scored yet again and with all those results we're now second in the championship what a season we're having West Brom the only team in a better spot meanwhile I just completed a loan deal for Jay Stewart we weren't really using him so I just loaned him out and hopefully that's gonna make him a better player it's time to get back to more championship action we gotta keep getting results on the pitch to maintain our title charge oh let's go maxi boy is through on goal max holmes 1v1 Easy. he's had a great episode so far and he keeps this up new strikers coming in and everything but this man will still keep performing how have we been this exposed defensively and this is not ideal <laughs> And oh my god, that almost went in. And so it's the goal from Max Holmes that gets us the win. We're moving on to our next game against Sheffield. And we've already conceded a dangerous free kick. Oh, ho, ho, that was close. Yo, Sheffield have been annoyingly good. We've been exposed for the first nope. time this season. But we've got McGinty to save us. David Tyler, that touch was Ooh. bad. David Tyler's not having a good time, is he? And that's how the game ends. A nil-nil draw. Sheffield were a tricky team. Following that draw, we actually lost this game to Reading. There's just too many games happening right now within a space of like two to three days our squad's getting tired and i'm sure this is bound to lead to an injury problem or something like that like yeah it's scary meanwhile i think it's the perfect time to complete one of our objectives we had with puma remember when we signed the contract with them they gave us a nice cheeky 12 million for our budget but they also are giving us a bonus of 8 million for next season in case we complete these objectives we should be able to get promotion to the premier league but also we need to have four players wearing Puma boots for matches. Basically giving them Puma sponsorships and us giving their image rights to Puma. So basically we're gonna have four players from the team getting brand deals. No way. 
my boy Max Holmes has been wearing default boots, man. No, we can't have that. We can't have that. He's gonna get the Puma sponsorship. Okay, these ones look nice. This as well. I think the blue goes really nice. The Puma King Pele Edition. Oh, okay. Bro, look at how good these boots look. And it's the Pele Edition. Something fitting about Max Holmes wearing Pele's boots. After Max Holmes, I think Berry should be wearing Puma boots as well. That's two players done. We've got Iñaki Jimenez wearing the standard boots as well. We'll, we'll give him a cheeky Puma upgrade as well. That's three players done. And the final player we're going to be having wearing the Puma boots is going to be Raul Lopez. That is one half of the Puma contract done. We just need to get promotion. We got the boys wearing new boots and everything. Time to get into some more championship games. I'm having to rotate the squad a lot because of how intense games are right now. So we've got Jimenez playing right now. Ah, and couldn't do much there. Oh, this is a bad one. And we do end up conceding. Ay, ay, ay. It's been tough, man, having to rotate the squad. Oh, but we could be sending Tyler through on goal. He's got a point to prove with Dane Scott nope. coming in. And honestly, it's not working out for him. And we end up losing this game after making a few rotations. This is bad. Heading into our next game against Stoke City now. And we need to get back to winning ways. Bro. Wow, it feels like things are going from bad to worse penalty. And this time, we end up conceding. What is happening? Paulinho. That's a really smart ball for Max Holmes, who's been in great form. And that continues. He gets us a goal from this game. Come on. This is so frustrating. We can see the penalty again. But this time, McGinty saves. At least he's got us a point from this game. Oh, my days. But this intense schedule of the championship, it's draining. And I told you this was bound to happen. We've got our first injury of the season. It's Nathan Patterson. Pulled hamstring out for the next seven weeks. In a way, I'm glad it's Patterson because we at least have a replacement for him. Junior Chimadu, I think, is going to be tough, but I think he should be able to fill in. Our next game in the championship is going to be tough and we need a result. Now Lopez and even Berry are a bit tired, but I decided we need the win here. Let's just play them. Max Holmes, it's super, but he puts it wide. No, 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 no. We concede from starting off so well this season. It's looked like midway through the season, we're running out of gas. And we end up taking another rail. Oh my days. No, no, no. I risked them in this game and look what we get in return. Both Raul Lopez and Berry injured next day in training. Okay, at least Berry's isn't that bad. He'll be back in like five weeks, probably back in January. But Raul Lopez with the dislocated shoulder is out for the next three months. And the only other midfielder we've got is Joe Bellingham. We've now dropped down to sixth in the championship and we're dealing with an injury crisis. Oh my God, I don't know how to get out of this situation. Remember there was a certain Spaniard available for a free? Maybe we might need to pull the trigger. The drama with S2GFC continues in the next one.